on everybody here on the Team Hydra channel? My name is Bacon and I'm bringing you my very first commentary here on the Hydra channel. So today I'm bringing you a 69 gun streak with a suppressed bison on Sovereign. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Go check out Hydra Big Bro, one of the newest recruits to Hydra along with me. He's a personal friend of mine and you guys should definitely go check out his channel. Get him to 300 subs, you will enjoy his content, I promise you. So today, because it's my very first commentary here on the Hydra channel, I decided I wanted to bring you guys a personal story. Instead of bringing you my opinion on a subject like what's going on in the world right now, what's going on with all these diseases, injuries, basketball, just what's going on with the world, I'm going to bring you guys my personal story, one of my very scariest moments in my entire life. And it was the time I was almost abducted, or what I'm going to say, I was almost abducted. So I'm a basketball player. I'm a 14 year old basketball player who's, I'm not gonna say amazing, but I'm a good player. And I've been looked at by schools. I've been, I'm not known, but I'm a pretty good player. I'm gonna say that. Now, because I'm a player, I know how to train. I know what to do. And I train every year at a certain time before school starts. So I get about a three month grind before school starts. And so I don't get too out of shape in summer. And also, so I'm ready for basketball season, start raining threes, balling up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, but I know how to do it, and I do this every year. So one year, I normally don't run. I just stay on ellipticals, and I work out inside in the gym. I just work on my jump shot and work on all of that because I'm a center, so I don't sprint as much. I know that's important, but like I said, I'm just 14, so I don't do all that. So today, this day in particular, I decided let's go for a run. This is the stupidest thing I ever did. Now I went for the run that day and as I got out, I noticed a van was behind me. I'm gonna give you a little background on this van. So there's been a van reported around my small town of Somerville, South Carolina. It's really just a small town outside of Charleston, nothing special. And it's really just a weird, like it's a weird safe place if you know. It's like one of those like, Mayberry towns like it's really there's nothing dangerous that happens here It's such a small town that nobody really Nothing bad happens, but at this in particular time when I was younger a van was being reported going around and looking at kids like following people And so it's been reported a couple times So my mom was worried about me going out running, but I was like mom. It's fine. I can take care of myself So I go out running again stupidest mistake of my life so as I go out running, I notice a van's following me. I have my MP3 in or my iPod, and I'm just listening to the music running, uh, getting through my workout, grinding. But then I notice the van is following me. And as the van's following me, I'm thinking, okay, it's just a van. It's a small, uh, small neighborhood, so it's probably just going to his house. I mean, I'm probably running its way. I do this all the time. But then I took a weird route. I tested it. I ran inside a little uh, dead end. So I ran inside the dead end, just ran around and stopped to tie my shoe, which is probably a dumb move, but don't do that if you're ever being chased. But I just stopped to tie my shoe and just kept running. And I noticed it stopped as I stopped to tie my shoe and it slowed down as I went into the thing and it just followed me. So that's when I noticed I was being followed and that's when I went into panic mode. I noticed, whoa, this van's following me. What do I need to do? I noticed it was a 40 year old male. It looks like it looks like he was an older gentleman. And well, it's not a gentleman if he's following a little boy around, but he looks like he's older. And I noticed it and I panicked. I really did. I didn't know what to do. So I just started running and full on sprinting. Normally I jog when I go running, but this time I was full out sprinting. I was running as fast as I can for my life. Now, because I said this is a small town, I know people in my neighborhood, people know me. So when I run my route, people, they'll be like, oh, hey, Tyler, how you doing? But the day in particular, not many people were out because it was kind of a cloudy day. But I run and I run to a neighbor's house and I start banging on the door. Now, it took him a while to get to the door because it was an older gentleman. I wouldn't say he's old, but he was around in his 50s or 60s. So it took him a little bit because he, he's a war veteran, a really nice guy that I know. But he, he, I trusted him the most because I don't trust a lot of people. But he runs to the, he comes to the door, hears me screaming, and he sees a man walking up behind me too. And so he opens the door. The man immediately gets back in his car and he drives away. 
I was literally about to pee myself. I think I might have pooped myself a little bit because, I mean, when you see a 40-year-old man walking up behind you thinking you're about to get abducted, I'm pretty sure you're going to poop yourself a little bit too. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay slash commentary. If you did, go check out all the links in the description and join my channel. Sorry if the gameplay or the commentary was a little rough. It is my first one, so I'm a little bit nervous. So hopefully if I get another upload on this channel, uh, it will be a little bit better for you guys. So guys, my name is Bacon. Definitely go check out, uh, check out Big Bro, excuse me. Check out his channel in the link in the description. Subscribe to Hydras, get us to 1K. It's your boy Bacon, guys, and I will see you guys later.